It's really sad to say, but this is not the first time that we've heard of something like this. Take a look at this. Uh, we have some amateur video. That's what you're seeing right now. It's from October 1995. A sergeant hid outside a stadium at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. He waited until the stadium was completely full, 1,300 soldiers, and then Sergeant William Kreutzer began firing at troops with a semi-automatic weapon. He killed one person and wounded 18 others. He eventually accepted a plea bargain, and he was sentenced to life in prison. Now, another incident. I wanted to take you back to 2003, March. This was just as the war in Iraq was beginning. A soldier, Hassan Akbar, attacked members of his own unit. Uh, some of you might remember this. He tossed grenades into tents that were used to house commanding officers in Kuwait. Two of those officers were killed. Fourteen other soldiers were injured. Another incident, May 2007, this one more recent. Uh, a group of men accused of plotting an attack on Fort Dix in New Jersey. Four of them are currently serving life sentences, although they still maintain they are innocent. And then earlier this year, two soldiers were shot outside a military recruiting center in Arkansas. One of them died. And around the same time, there was also another very sad story. This past May, there was a U.S. soldier in Iraq who killed five of his fellow soldiers at a Camp Liberty clinic that treats service members for yeah. war-related stress.